Hello and welcome to Blue Airways. On this channel, I upload aviation related stuff. So if you like aviation, you should consider subscribing. Have you ever heard of the Concorde? Okay, that was a pretty dumb question. Most of us have heard of the Concorde in some sort of way. But some of us haven't. So in this video, I'll tell you about the Concorde and its glory. By the way, the reason why I'm making this video is because I put up a commun community post on YouTube asking you what video you would rather see. A video about the Concorde or a video about day in 225. And you picked the Concorde, so here's the video most of you picked. Now comes the video. The Concorde was a collaboration between two companies, one French and one British. The French being Sud Aviation, Leida Aerospatiale, and now Airbus. The British being British Aircraft Corporation, Leida British Aerospace, and Leida BAE System. Though the two companies credited for building it was Aerospatiale, Aerospatiale, something like that, I think that's how you say it, and British Aircraft Corporation. That is why it's mostly known as the BAC Aerospatiale Concorde. The Concorde had four engines. The engine was for Rolls-Royce slash Snigma. Snigma, also known as Saffron Olympus 593 turbojets, fitted with afterburners. The Concorde could fly 2.04 or 2 times the sound of speed. 2.04 the times of speed. The time of sound. No. The speed of sound. Sorry. In kilometers an hour, in kilometers an hour and knots, that is 2,167 kilometers an hour, or 1,170 knots. That is so fast that some of you might believe that it was a military jet, but no, this was a supersonic passenger jet. The first flight of the Concorde was on the 2nd of March 1969, though its first introduction with an airline was years later in 1976. The only two airlines that owned the type was British Airways and Air France, the, though two other airlines did have something with the Concorde. Those two being brand of International Airways, who operated Concord between Washington Dulles and Dallas Fort Worth International Airport, utilizing its own flight crew under its own insurance and operator's license. Stickers containing a US registration were placed over the French and British registration of the aircraft during each rotation and placed temporarily placed behind the cockpit signify what oh yeah a placard was uh, temporarily placed behind the cockpit to uh, signify the operator and operator license in command and yes that part was taken straight from wikipedia that's why i couldn't say one word because i didn't know what that word meant so yeah that part you that i just read was straight from Wikipedia. And the other airline was Singapore Airlines, who had its livery placed on the left side of Concorde GBOAD, or uh, as you actually say, Golf Bravo Oscar Alpha Delta, and held a joint marketing agreement which shows Singapore Airlines insignias on the cabin fittings as well as the airline Singapore Gold Stewardesses jointly sharing cabin duty with, with British Airways flight attendants. All the flight crew operations and insurances remained solely under British Airways, however, and at no point did Singapore Airlines operate Concords under its own 
operationalizations or certification. Nor did they wet lease an aircraft. This agreement initially only lasted for three flights, conducted between the, between the 9th of September and the 13th of September 1977. It later resumed on the 24th of January 1979 and operated through one through the 1st of November 1980. The Singapore Lyrae was used on GBOAD from 1977 to 1980. The Concord um, The Singapore Library was used on GBOAD from 1977 to 1980. And if you're wondering, yes, that part was also tra taken straight from Wikipedia. That's why I also um, made a little mistake with reading it right there. Anyway, Normally my videos are only like 3 minutes long max, but this one is double as long, 6 minutes. So I think I'll make it into multiple parts, so um, thank you for watching part 1. See you in the next part of the Concord, and see you in the next video. Bye!